Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, so this is a really exciting opportunity when, when I first heard about it. And mind you, I heard about it as early as in June, <laughs> um, that it might happen and it was being planned. Um, uh, we, as a producer, we really need more platforms to showcase Filipino films because uh, we produce a lot of films and there's a wide variety of Filipino films being produced that speak a number of Filipino stories that the world deserves to hear. But unfortunately, we don't have the avenues for that. So the Manila International Film Festival is a great opportunity uh, because we can showcase not just one or two, but the, the, this, for this trip, it's three films and in January it's gonna be 10. So that's, that's a really great uh, chance to show uh, our Kababayans here, uh, the range of films that we've been producing, but also the non-Filipinos here, uh, there's an opportunity to, to show a film that might suit their taste, because with 10 films in January, there would be one or two or three, and I dare say all 10, that, would, that they would appreciate. So thank you to the organizers of the Manila International Film Festival. I'm going to share with you a story. <laughs> you know, About Us, But Not About Us is a very personal film. And we made it at the height of the pandemic. And at the time, I was really going through a lot. And it's a story that I had to tell. And I wasn't even thinking of an audience. I wasn't sure where it's going. It was just something that I wanted to do. And with the help of my producer, Percy, we were able to do it um, with the help of my two brilliant actors. Um, and you know, by the grace of God, it um, it premiered. It had its world premiere at the Tallinn International Film Festival, where it won Best Film, and then it became part of the Metro Manila Film Festival. And now <laughs> we're here in LA to be part of the inaugural uh, version of the Manila International Film Festival. So I'm just really beyond grateful, beyond grateful for this opportunity, not just for myself, but for all the Filipino storytellers. Um, because, you know, we want to tell stories that are very Filipino, but at the same time, they are universal enough that they will resonate with audiences. And we have a lot of really talented, brilliant filmmakers, storytellers that are just really waiting for an opportunity like this. Not really to have a career in Hollywood, but to just be able to share our stories with the world. And this is a first step, so thank you very much. I panicked. <laughs> I lost my passport. So, so when they told me that I was going, I was like, hey, wait, give me a moment. I don't have a passport. I even believe that a beautiful woman over there in black was with me at the U.S. Embassy. Am I not mistaken? Yes. Yes. We were together and I was trying to get my U.S. visa back. Uh, but yes, it is with great honor and, and privilege that we were invited here. Thank you for providing this platform for Filipino creators. Uh, I've always believed that Philippine cinema is universal enough in its, in its storytelling that it can be appreciated by any nationality, any, any country, and it just needs a starting point. And I am hoping that this one will be the starting point of a lot of uh, exposure a lot of festivals and a lot of moviegoers to see not only the stories but also our, our culture in the same way that we see their culture and their stories when we watch foreign films so thank you for having us as for me i feel like i had two reactions one is fine you're laughing already <laughs> you're excited for my answers um, well, two things. One is finally. Finally because it only means representation. This kind of initiative is something that I admire because this will put the Filipino talents in a North American map. And I hope that, I, I really pray that the, the organization that you guys built will continue for as long as possible. And I know that your dreams will, um, part of your dream is to put a Filipino film 
in the Golden Globes or yes. something like that. Yes. yes. So we manifest that, Miss Cindy, we manifest that, right? Yeah. As early as now. Yeah. And yes. and it will open doors to producers, directors, and actors, and filmmakers in back home. So thank you very much. And then my second reaction is wow, another dream come true. Because I feel like this year, this year, this is my fifth international film fest this year, and it's it's such a great honor to bring your Philip your flag in the world stage. So thank you very much. Thank you.